welcome to May and your career and money reading. This is for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you why you should watch this for your rising sign and not your sun sign. If you don't give a shit, go ahead and watch it, whatever, but it's gonna be more accurate for your rising sign. Um, we're gonna cover what do career and money look like for you in general this month? What should you be looking forward to? What's gonna be your biggest annoyance? Where to look more closely? And then general advice and guidance for you. Um, the decks I'm using are this one here, the Psychic Tarot Oracle, which is actually a tarot deck and not an oracle deck, and then the um, Number Guidance deck. Okay, let's get started. Oh, there's links in the description box below um, that are affiliate links for each of these decks. If you like the deck and you want one for yourself, because that's a common question I get in the comments, um, it doesn't cost you more to get them through that link. It just helps me keep making these videos. Okay, let's get started. Virgo, so what does your career and what is your money vibe in the month of May? So career, um, karmic completion, something has ended as far as the cycle goes and a new beginning is starting. One that is really stable and comfortable and predictable for you. So does that mean that your um, job is ending? Maybe. But for many of you, it might just be more of like a cycle about the way that things used to be. Maybe you have a certain experience in the workplace that is changing and shifting and ending, and now we're walking into a new one that is better. Perhaps, um, you know, your relationship with a colleague hasn't been that good, and then now maybe they're moving on to a different opportunity and um, somebody better is stepping into their place or something changes in that relationship. For some of you, though, um, it's going to actually literally be a new job, but for the majority of you, no. Um, but it's something per fate, per destiny, is changing and shifting and moving, and it's going to create something um, better, more practical, more reliable for you in the future. As far as your money situation goes, they say, um, your money situation might not be growing and expanding and new beginnings might not be happening there. Um, your relationship to money might not be as healthy as normal. And so I would check out this blog post here, um, link in the description box below, to kind of help you get that right. There's an awesome link to um, somebody else's YouTube video, really that helps you get your energetic relationship with money going really well for you. Um, and building that so that we can manifest more money so that it can start expanding for us this month. So, I mean, maybe things are going well for you, maybe they're not, but essentially um, I don't necessarily see them changing much in the month of May and that's what you could do in order to work on changing things for the better. So what do you have to look forward to in career and in your finances? So in career, like I said, those new beginnings, those um, transformations where it's more stable, it's more practical, like things are reliable and um, it's building like a solid foundation for you for the future. Um, I think Aries and Leos also had something very, very similar. As far as money goes though, it's like no new real beginnings here. So. Um, um, this might not be the month in which you get a big raise. It might not be the month in which, um, you know, your side hustle really takes off in a new direction um, and brings tons of money. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen, you know, in June, July, August, but they're just saying right now, that's not the vibe. Um, they wanted to further say, this is more a month about, um, you know, taking time for yourself, doing things that you enjoy um, on your own. And for some of you, you might enjoy learning and researching and studying, you know, for your current career path if you have the time to do so. And they say, um, that might be good if it's for your current career path. However, if you are trying to learn new skills to move on to something different, they say that um, you might be afraid to make actually make the leap, and so that might be like a futile effort. Um, so something to consider, unless you're like 100% sure that you know the direction that you're maybe acquiring new skills for is the direction you want to go in, and you're fearless about that. Maybe just applying it to what you're already doing or what you were doing, and you know if you're furloughed right now, would be better for you. Um, before, because I just don't want to forget, your crystal of the month is adventuring. Um, there's a blog post that tells you all the things it can do, but that might kind of help you um, on this path and figuring out all of these things um, if you're interested. If you're not into crystals, whatever. Um, so what do you have 
to um, look forward to as like the biggest annoyance for you this month? Like what should you be aware of? In career, they say there might be some disharmony in relationships, but like I said, new beginnings are happening. Like there's an ending to the certain way that things were and then almost like an, a new reality is happening and it's faded and it's supposed to go that way. So try not to let it bug you too much. Um, so, you know, you might, even if you are at work surrounded by colleagues, you might kind of feel alone there, but that's okay because this is a time for inner reflection to like kind of be on your own and figure out, you know, what is my plan? What do I want? Um, financially, like which new heights do I want to go to? What, it, like thinking about all these things within your career and um, as far as your money goals go on your own without the input of other people is going to be very, very helpful for you in the future. It's like laying the first bricks of a foundation that we can build upon later. Um, so what do you need to look more closely at in career and money? And in career, they're saying, you know, how much do you take on your on your own? Like, where can we integrate teams? Um, where can I get some assistance, some help? Where can I delegate certain things? Um, in regards to our money, they're saying, you know, what have I achieved so far? And what do I have to be proud of? So it's almost like building up our positive vibrational energy to money in order to help us attract more of it in the months to follow in June, July, August. Um, so general advice and guidance. Um, in career, they're saying, you know, foundationally, you've, you've laid a good foundation. And so it's like, where do we go next? What do I have to be proud of, of, you know, where I was to how I've come so far and then setting new goals for the future. And then in um, regards to money, they're saying, you know, what, what's throwing off my money vibration here, looking at this and then trying to figure out how to balance those out, how to, you know, clear away blockages that we have or balance out our energy so that we start get it manifesting what we want and start um, increasing the flow of funds um, to us, you know, through magic or the law of attraction. So um, that is May. I love you so much and I'll see you next month.